Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a stylized version of The Corpse Bride. I'm using a Spectra Vondergeist doll to do this, and I just thought I would do something a little bit different with the character. I decided to make a Sally and a Corpse Bride at sort of a little bit lower price point than I have in the past. Usually they are in the two, the high 200 price point, and these I made in the high 100 price point. So at the time I'm making this video, the Corpse Bride has sold, but the Sally is still available. So like I said, I decided to use a Spectra Vondergeist because, mainly because I really like the sculpt and I hadn't worked on one in a while. And um, when I decide to do that and work on a doll that I really just feel like working on, it turns out to be one of my best face-ups. So this one did turn out I'm in a way that I'm very happy with. <laughs> so I gave her a few coats of Mr. Super Clear and then I started in with the shape of the eye. I wanted to do a sort of a sexier look and have her eyes slightly closed so I could give her some eyeshadow that would be more visible. And for the bottom portion of the eye, I went with the uh, tear duct. I did in sort of a little scoop and a triangle and that tapers into the center of the bottom lid. And then, the, then I did another longer triangle from the outer corner. And then where they come together at the bottom of the lid, I used a Faber-Castell in a dark brown that would maintain a sharp tip so I could just kind of connect them there. So I've been asked to give a little bit more detail on the bottom tear duct area and I hope that helps a little bit. So it's just a matter of line weight. I make it very very fine line at the very bottom of the lid. So I gave her some shading with um, a couple of different blues from the Pan Pastel Landscape Collection. The products I'm using are listed in the description box below along with affiliate links. And I also went on the lips with a red Pan Pastel and I'm using a Derwent watercolor pencil to shape those up. So I'm using the darker blue to go in on the contour of the eye, the eyelid. And I'm blending that out with some colorless blender on a Q-tip. And as usual with Corpse Brides, I have to go back and um, do a few layers to get this color built up the way I want it meaning that I would seal it in between and then go back with some more color. I'm using a very small round brush for this detail work. Sometimes I'll go in with uh, the round brush that I've made into like a stencil brush, but if I want a softer blend in a smaller area, then I'll use just a, a small round brush like this to blend it out a little softer. And I'm using this eyebrow or eye, what is it? eyeshadow brush. It's just a cheap eyeshadow brush to add in the cheek color and blending that out with colorless blender on a q-tip. So I just want to mention that that the time this video will be posted I still have a little bit of time to get some commissions done before the holiday so if you're in the US and are interested in a commission contact me and if the spots haven't filled up and there's still time I should be able to get a commission in. My email address is linked in the description box below or you can message me through any of the social media platforms. I 
So I'm using like a turquoise color and then the two different blues, like I said, that come with the landscape collection of pan pastels to make this blue color. But I wanted to maintain a lot of her white as well. I just went in with some soft contouring in her cheekbones and forehead and eyelid areas. So on this and the Sally doll that I made in this style, I gave them some tattoos and this one I made the little worm on her stomach, <laughs> the worm that from the movie that I think it comes out of her eye, <laughs> but I, I did that on her stomach and then I did um, a couple of different tattoos on her arms and a little like bone on her leg and then a skull, like her skeleton bones on one of her arms. So at this point I decided to give her a side view and I wanted to give her some light blue eyes. So I'm using this sort of periwinkle blue color for the outline and then blending it in with some lighter shades and white. And I didn't do too much color in the eye. I wanted to leave it sort of white to go with the overall look of her skin as well. So I just did a little bit of detail work. You can't quite see very well here. Um, but in the end of this video, I'll show some photos where you can, you may be able to see the detail a little bit better. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, I always post photos there. And I decided not to do the DK on her jaw because I was trying to make her be more like a stylish or sexy version. So I did leave that part out. But I think she reflected the character enough without it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you would subscribe, subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.